Hey, what's up, mofos? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I finally hit another goddamn nuke. I hit this nice ass gameplay right here. Nice. It was so beautiful, so perfect. But anyways, in today's video, I'm going to be explaining on how to get a nuke, how to become a better player, how to die less, and overall become the ultimate god in Black Ops 3. I mean, Black Ops 3. My bad. <laughs> Yes, you heard. This is how it's gonna happen. You're gonna be like the Super Saiyan Goku in this game. Alright, after these tips and tricks right here. Alright, so first things first. You have to identify on like how you play. What's your playing style? Like if you're a rusher, a camper, a piece of shit. Which is like 90% of Black Ops 3 players. I do not recommend you to be a piece of shit. You know exactly what I mean. All you fucking Brecky Olympia pieces of shit users. Okay, fuck y'all. I do not encourage that at all. But anyways, like you could be a flanker, a rusher, a camper, anything. Anything that you, you want to identify what type of class setup that you need. Which is on to my next point. The class setup. One of the most important things if you want to actually do good in a game. So like if you're a rusher, your main attachment would be fast max. Because most rushers have a bad habit of pressing square after every freaking kill they get. Like as you can see right here. After every single kill, I press square. It's, it's a bad habit. That's why I like I'm... I, Fast max is like essential for me, but for like flankers, they can use silencer. So when they go behind them, no one hears anything. The other enemies don't hear a thing, and it's easier to kill everyone. If you're a camper, they most likely use like a gorgon or something with extended mag, and just stay in one spot, aiming in forever. <laughs> like there's different attachments that work for every different type of playing style. Simply because I'm a rusher, I use many different things like grip and quick draw and fast mag. That's like my main three attachments that I use on almost every single like gun, submachine guns. I'm a submachine gun user but assault rifles this most average players which most people use they could use the same thing if they're rushing but it's like mid-range so you could use different type of things like long barrel anything of that sort practically <laughs> so in this gameplay i do not recommend you that you follow my class setup because in this class setup i just spammed everything when i was going for this nuke i wasn't even going for the nuke that's also a main point that i need to tell you when you try to go for a nuke, do it subconsciously, like, do not think about it. Like, put on non-lethal score streaks. Like, my score streaks were completely off because I wasn't even going for it. I was just trying to sweat my balls off to get as many kills as possible. No matter what you're going for, a nuke, 70 kill challenge, you always want to, like, try your best. Try your best in everything. Just try to get the most kills. Don't aim for anything. If you do that, you'll eventually get it. Like, my mistake here in this gameplay is the score streaks. I, like, these score streaks do not add up to my nuclear. If I use, like, Hater, UAV, or Power Cord, those are three good score streaks that I would recommend to y'all to use if you're actually going for a nuke. Use them and forget about them. Don't even think about them again, alright? Because every time somebody says, I'm going for the nuke, they usually go, like, 5 and 20 or something like that, which is the most case with the most players. That happens to me a lot important thing that you guys will need to know is the specialist specialist is very 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 important specialist also consider to your playing style since i'm a rusher the ripper is like an emergency melee weapon for me like earlier you just saw that kill right there i could have died right there off my nuke right there but if i didn't if i had the rip if i didn't have the ripper i would be dead because i was like not ready for that gunfight it's an emergency melee weapon so i personally recommend the ripper because that's simply my favorite one but if you want to use like scythe, which is very good, just like a whole minigun or something, do not use hive. If you use hive, fuck you. Do not use hive, alright? I do not recommend hive at all. You could use heat wave. Heat wave could also save your butt or glitch. I use things like that. So like if you're on a streak, they could really, really save your ass. <laughs> to how to die less. A lot and lots and lots of people have this problem of just dying too much. I see this in every lobby I join. There's always that one teammate going like 0 and 20 and not even raging, which really surprises me. But anyways, if you do not want to die a lot, you have to predict the enemy's movement. You have to move your movement as well. Like, since I'm a rusher, I go straight through the middle, get there before the enemy does so I can kill them before you. But if you're not that type of playing style, you need to go from the sides. Take the flanks if you don't want to die a lot. And use the cover around you. Like, use your environment. If you don't use your environment to your advantage, you'll probably die because... What I do most of the time, like, for head glitches, I don't care what you say. If I see a head glitch and I see an enemy, I'm going to use it. It's the safest position that you could do in order to die less. Also, when you realize you're getting close to a score streak or, like, you're very, very close to a nuke, play as cautious as you can. I personally think this, that the, pro the game was programmed to do this, that, like, 
any time that you're uh, high on score streaks and it realizes like you're rushing or something, it spawns the enemy near you. So it's not the actual enemy itself. It's just where they actually spawn them. So like you have to play extra cautious when you get to your high score streaks. They're trying to prevent you from actually receiving that. Because I'm pretty sure a lot of a lot of players deal with this same problem. Like you're 50 points off wraps and then boom, you're dead. What is this? It triggers you. So you have to play cautious every time you get close to your score streaks. Same goes with the nuke. When I was at the brutal, I played extra cautious. Okay, I was not about to choke this nuke. I have way too many brutals to do that. <laughs> Alright, so that's all I have for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, please smash that like button. Let's go for 5 likes, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.